Hello everybody, welcome to another video. For this video, it's quite simple. I'll be showing you how to set up and install Davi Okada's voice changer, which uses RVC, a retrieval voice cloning, which has grown in popularity, especially for songs on Arch Linux. So they don't show how to, and there are a few issues I ran into, but they mostly seem to be resolved. So I will be using Anaconda, I've never used Docker, but the option is there. If you are more familiar with it, feel free to. It should be generally the same for either. So, first thing you need to do, just create a conda environment. So, this doesn't matter where the directory is, but I'd recommend just opening a directory where you're going to later clone it. So, I'm going to call this add toot since I already have a pre done one. That I've done before that I'm going to be using after to avoid having to wait for download since it's like four gigabytes. Then activate this. It will need to be actually, this is the wrong one. So conda deactivate if you want to get out of it. Conda activate dash toot. There you go. So you will need to activate before you run the program anytime unless you set up a script to auto do it, which we will see down here. When you're in the directory, you want to put this, it will create a subfolder. You can get clone it using this line, or you can get clone using HTTPS, GitHub, CLI, whatever, through the main page. We're just grabbing the master branch, so you don't need to worry too much about that. So once it's cloned, I just ended this since I already have one pre done up for the video, but it should successfully clone. Then you will need to CD into it. So for me, I have my actual one called voice changer installed. So, and then you'll need to CD into the server folder inside of that. So before we start anything else, we need to do the requirements. So if you go into your folder, go into server, open requirements. So change power to be 0.3.4, change it to be protobuf equals 3.20.0. And that should be all you need to do. Then, as it mentioned online, pip install dash r for file your requirements. So, if we go back into the terminal, run pip install dash r requirements dot text. I'm not going to wait here since I already have it set up, but for you, you obviously just wait until it finishes. It may take a while, especially with CUDA. There are a few more things you need to make sure you grab. So you want to run a conda install PyTorch, Torch Vision, and all of this here, just to make sure you have everything. This will take a while. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to show it here, but just wait until it runs successfully. If you have issues, feel free to leave a comment or create a GitHub issue on here. You'll also need these two libraries, so make sure you install both of these. After that, if you have any errors, there are two libraries for Arch that you need to make sure you have. So instead of libport audio 2, it's called port audio. And instead of libA sound dev, it is called ausa lib. So make sure you have those installed if you don't want to run into errors. So after you installed your pip requirements, the conda requirements, and all of that such, you can actually launch it up. So this does introduce a common issue, you'll see. So I don't have this environment set up, so I'm going to go to the one I do. Activate vcc, vc client dash dev. Okay, so if we run this, it'll run, you will see it download models. I have them downloaded here just to save time. So one thing you can experience is after you close it, the only way I know how, maybe there's a better way, is just control C and closing it which causes an issue as in it doesn't close the port. So if you try and launch it again, you'll get air number num air number 98. So if we go back in here, a temporary fix is just start changing P as the port. So you can change the port. So you shouldn't experience this on your first run, it'd only be other ones. You should see a bunch of downloads for your model, which will probably take a few minutes depending on your internet speed, and then it'll launch. So you'll just be tempted to yin control click to open it. Advanced, if you don't want to see the screen, 
you can actually go back and go to um, you can set the HTTPS to be false so you don't get that issue and ah there we go I was wondering why it was working it does not work on non chromium based browsers is something you will find so if you're on a Mac with Safari and trying to follow this guide if you're on Linux most people use Firefox and non chromium based browsers they don't work at for the time being there is an issue open for it on the github you can check out but right now there's a call that makes that causes a crash so if you want to access this you need to go to a chromium based browser so for the one I'm using this is from when I had it open earlier so change the port to make sure you have it correct I'm going to use Opera proceed to localhost allow it and you're done and <laughs> that's literally the entire install you can select whatever you want if you want to add your own custom models, you can click edit, upload one, edit the name, etc. Uh, these settings are already explained. Everything from here on out should be that identical to the Windows install. There are many great videos I've seen. I forgot the YouTuber's name, but there's one particular who does quite a few who should show up at the top of your results. So the only other thing you may need is if you want to route it into Discord or other apps. There's not as easy a way, but if you're on Pulse Audio, as far as I know, you can use something which I had pulled up before called Pulse Meter, which is a recreation of Voice Meter Banana, which lets you do audio mixing, or you can manually create taps and syncs through Pipewire Pulse Audio. But that's a bit out of the scope for this video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and have a wonderful evening or day whatever it is for you.